All right, so for 10th edition, we have some more information on command phase and battle shock. We're gonna go in order here as to how the phase would go. Um, at the start of the command phase, both players are going to gain one command point. Um, in addition to this one command point, uh, players are allowed to gain additional command points, but it's only one per battle round. So you're gaining one per turn but you can only gain one additional per battle round. Um, this is done before basically anything else. After you've gained your command points, um, then you resolve other abilities that would happen in the command phase. So if there's some sort of aura or um, stratagem or, or whatever else that would trigger during command phase, then do that. At the end of the command phase, which means after you've resolved all of your abilities, then you do your battle shock tests. So for a battle shock test, it is a, a leadership test, um, which for this edition, they're actually reversing the leadership. So you're going to roll 2d6, just like we always do, but you're going to try to roll the lowest leadership uh, or better. You're not going for low numbers now, you're going for higher. So your sergeants are actually going to be a lower leadership than the rest of your unit because you want uh, that target number or higher on the two dice. Uh, so anyway, uh, all units that are under half strength during this Battleshock test time have to make a Battleshock test. Interesting thing is that we have never really had to take leadership tests for vehicles uh, however, the way this works and the way it's worded, under half strength, if it's a single model, it's under half strength if it's under half of its total wounds. So your vehicles and monsters and things like that will have to take battle shock tests uh, potentially throughout the game if they're under half their total wounds. Um, when you take a battle shock test, if you fail, you pass, you're totally good. But if you fail, then the unit, uh, their OC value, objective secure, uh, control value, drops to zero. In addition, they may not be the target of friendly stratagems. So this counts for re-rolls and things of that nature, you know, go to ground. Uh, they cannot be targeted by stratagems. Uh, and also, um, once they have failed their battle shock test, if they were to fall back during movement phase, all falling back automatically counts as a desperate escape, which means you have to make some rolls and you potentially lose some guys. So it's really bad. Um, obviously, you don't want to fail your Battleshock tests at any point, uh, but if you do, some of the things aren't so bad. Dropping two objectives secured zero uh, is really unfortunate, especially if they're on an objective, but if they're just out dealing damage because it's a, you know, damage dealing units, not meant to hold objectives, that's less bad. The um, things like falling back can be mitigated for the most part because you can just choose not to fall back, though that's, you know, not always the right choice. But the not being able to be targeted by friendly stratagems is pretty rough. Now, it clarifies here that it talks about friendly stratagems, so your opponents can still target them with the, you know, debuffing negative sort of stratagems. So are you Battleshock testing both players' units? on every command phase turn? So like... uh, no. So the only thing that's happening to both players during a command phase is the gaining of a command point. Battleshock tests only happen during your command phase uh, for your units, and that Battleshock effect basically lasts until your next turn. Okay. During your opponent's turn, they test for their units, and that lasts until the following turn, and this is before the movement phase. And, so, and is it a static under half strength, or is it like based on becoming half strength the last turn? Because like if it's it, half strength it's a, and it passes, is it still going to have to test again the next turn? Correct. Yep. So it's under half strength static. So once you're under half strength, unless you apothecary or tech marine kind of get yourself back above half strength, you're basically testing every turn for that unit now, or every battle round, excuse me. Um, hoping to pass all the time. Now, there are uh, stratagems that can make, basically make you auto-pass after you failed 
Um, and I'm sure there's going to be other abilities on certain characters that can make units count as having passed Battleshock or Rally, however you want to view that. Um, but yes, it, you're going to test every time. And the, the biggest thing here is under half strength applies to single models like vehicles and monstrous creatures. They just count the number of wounds instead of the number of models for those single model units. Cool, cool. All right. Is there anything else? Uh, I think that's all for this one. Uh, we're going to continue with more videos over the other phases and making sure that we catch all of the the new things as well as confirming some of the old things that may have been confusing in the past. Cool. Thanks, everybody.